An Australian executive and three other employees of mining giant Rio Tinto went on trial in China on charges of stealing secrets and offering bribes in a case viewed as a barometer of China's handling of foreign business. Australian citizen Stan Hu and three Chinese nationals were arrested nine months ago at a time when Rio Tinto was acting as a lead negotiator for global iron ore suppliers in price talks with Chinese steel mills. The four were taken into a Shanghai court and out of the public eye. China has not allowed Australian officials to attend sessions dealing with state secrets charges. However, Australian consular officials will attend hearings involving the bribery charges. Rio Tinto has repeatedly said it hopes the case will be handled quickly and transparently and that in the meantime it's business as usual. The trial comes as business analysts have stated that it has become more difficult to do business in China. In the beginning when foreign companies came to invest in China, they helped to promote the development of China's justice system. But now some foreign companies doing business in China have started to pollute China's political and judicial environment because they use bribery to beat competition in China in order to expand their business to gain huge profits. There are some who question if foreign companies doing business in China will help to promote China's political system to reform or help to improve China's judicial system. The impact of foreign companies on China has gone from positive to negative. Lawmakers in Australia have urged their government to push more forcefully for an open trial. The Australian government will be monitoring uh, Mr Hu's trial very carefully. Uh, the second is uh, we are providing all forms of uh, possible assistance, uh, consular assistance uh, and other forms of assistance uh, to Mr Hu and his, uh, and his family. And the third is, I will say it uh, once again very clearly, uh, China has a different legal system to Australia. China has a different legal system to the rest of the world. The world will be watching very closely how this trial is handled. The maximum penalty for commercial espionage is seven years in prison if the case is found to have caused extreme damage. The maximum penalty for taking bribes is five years. Almost all criminal cases that go to trial in China end in conviction.